ladies and gentlemen, we are back with the Stick of Truth. It is night one in South Park of, I want to say the two nights, three day storyline. And if I remember this game correctly, I'm going to have to give a big old viewer discretion as advice warden for this episode because things are about to get very inappropriate very fast. But we're going to have a lot of good laughs. So I have that upgrade. We'll save that for now. Let's continue with the story. There you are. Oh. We've been looking all over for you. Oh. Do you know how late it is? You are grounded. Oh, that scared me a little bit. <laughs> Holy crap, that scared now me. Now I want you to go to bed and think about what you've done. Well, shit. Good night, little man. I hope you're as happy as we are. Everything is going to be better now that we're in this quiet little mountain town. I'm having the dream again. Okay, <laughs> dreaming. What's happening? Oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, can we try the big silver one? Oh. Good job. Oh boy. It's bigger and blacker. Clench! Clench! We did it. We survived. Huh. That should come in handy. Is this your first time getting probed? Yeah, it's a pain, but... This is the kind of stuff you put up with living in a remote little mountain town. At least we don't have to deal with traffic. Hey, you broke free! Kid, you have an incredible control of your asshole. Get me loose, too! <laughs> you can use your newly acquired alien probe to teleport. Wow, look at that! You must have broke off part of the probe and now you can control it with your sphincter muscles. Pretty cool. Oh, I can go anywhere? Fuck yeah! I'm surrounded by some kind of force field. Go find a way to shut it off. When you break me free, I can show you how to get off the ship. Ooh, ready for this? Are you ready for a 500 IQ move? 500 IQ. Boom. I'm so smart. Ooh. I wonder, wait a minute. Can I do this to hurt the aliens? I can. And now. Here we go. Fighting the aliens. Move. Move. Remember, guys, Earth is just a reality move, TV move. show. And that's what these guys are here to do. Circumcite the alien. What are we cutting move. off exactly? Space medicine. How very descriptive. Move, 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 move. Yeah. Alien ray gun kill. Oh, hey, there you are. Oh, yeah, yep, that's the Lambda containment block. Take that elevator next to you. The probe in your asshole should interface with it. Cool. I love being able to use my ass to control things. Great, you're in. You're looking for a security console. Should be one above you in probe maintenance and another below you in the atmospheric processor. Yeah, I know this stuff. Can't remember which one you want, though. Been a while since I did this. <laughs> Can't remember which one you want, though. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, uh, hello. Is this recording? If you are hearing this, I've been taken hostage on some kind of alien ship. The aliens did unspeakable things to my rectal cavity. But I've broken free. I'm so scared and alone. I must find a way off this ship. Oh, God, they're coming. Why am I standing here making an audio lock? I don't have time for this. Leave me alone. 
Even something as simple as like the classic audio log, you got to love it. What did that do? Move, move. Uh oh, it killed him. Great, you're there. See if you can free me from that console. Probably not though. It's incredibly advanced alien technology. No way some kid could work it. Keep going, I think you're onto something. Oh, this is I knew easy. I can trust you. Keep it up. Uh, I'm Ooh. still stuck. Better try the other console. You. And then. Day two. So hungry. I've searched for food, but the only thing I've found are other people's annoying, useless audio logs. Why did they bother when they clearly were in terrible danger? Each audio log I find is more irrelevant and boring than the last. I must keep looking for a way to survive. <laughs> They're making fun of audio logs in video games. I love it so much. Day four. I've looked everywhere, but I can't find anything to eat or a clue to get me off the ship. Just more audio logs. They're everywhere. For some reason, I listen to every minute of every one of them thinking there'd be some useful information, but it's like they're just filler. Useless filler. They're filler that's driving me to madness. There. I think that... Ah! Oh! You've got to be close. Come on, try again. Uh Yeah, that's what I thought. Ah, oh, no, okay. Next time's gotta be the germ. Give it all you got. I totally got this, guys. Ready? Ready? First attempt. The fact that I did that for two of them is impressive. Yeah, you've got to keep trying. I believe in you. All right. Okay, that one doesn't work either. Head back towards the elevator. Oh, there's space cash on the ship. Wait, one second, one second. I've got a lot of new tools here. I gotta look at some stuff quickly. Ooh, absolutely. Ooh, apps, give me. I like, I like what we got going here. And that's all my items. I, just, I need to get rid of the exclamation points. All right, that's better. Okay, I didn't want you to have to do this, but there's one more console you can try in that room across the bridge. The alien who works there is really tough, so be careful and remember to use electricity. Ready? Got him. Got him. All right. We got this guy. I should be able to get him right here right now. Let's get him. Got him. Sucks to be you. All right. Hey, that did it! The force field's down! Come on back and we can get out of here! White power crystal required. I'm going down here, though. What's down here? Ooh, another audio log. Day seven. Okay, I did find one audio log that was mildly amusing. A woman trapped on this ship left an audio log about some papers she had left in an alien cabinet, and she told me the code was 776. That was kind of cool because I didn't know the code before that. Though when I opened the cabinet, there was only some kind of power-up I didn't really need. Oh, that's right, it's Nazi zombies! They're Nazi zombies in this game. How did I forget that? Oh, he's fucking powerful. I might die. All right, he was easier than I thought he would be. All right, let's kill this alien hobo. Let's kill this Nazi zombie alien hobo. I became a Nazi zombie. All right, Randy, let's get you out of there. Easy, easy. Child's play. Oh, you did it. Oh, thanks, kid. 
I don't know who you are or if you're real, but consider me your friend. Until we meet again! All right. First things first, give me the white power crystal. Now that we have the white microchip, or the white crystal. Perfect. All right, let's go. Surely. Yep. Alien defense matrix. Fuck, they're strong. Oh, fuck. I'm burning. Oh, here we are, cure potion. Ooh. Ooh, that's powerful. All right, this should finish him off now. Oh crap, he almost killed me. All right, now we're bringing out the big guns. Sling a David, this should do some good damage. Ooh, very good damage. All right, we can just finish this now. That's what I thought. Down goes the ship. Mayday, 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 mayday. <laughs> Crash right into the mall. Oh, the Nazi zombie goo is everywhere. Yes? At what location? How many people in the town? Get in there and cover it up. This could change everything. Get everyone moving. We've got another UFO crash. Another UFO crash? Alien abduction quest complete. All right, that was a lot of fun. First day is done, first night is done. I think that's a good place to leave off for now. That was, that's one of the funnier, more obscene quests in this game. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. A lot of tropes in there. Haven't seen the aliens in real South Park in forever. So much fun. But with that guys, we will put a pin in this episode. We will come back to South Park the Secret Truth at another time. I hope you're enjoying the playthrough. I like the trip down nostalgia slash memory lane because I love South Park. But until the next one guys, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next installment of South Park the Stick of Truth.